Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Winda and I am the blogger behind Windiful.com. And in this video, we are going to be talking about digital planner stickers. So if you are a complete newbie to digital planning, then this video is going to explain exactly what a digital planner sticker is, um, how to use them and how to get some free ones online. So if you guys want to learn more, then keep on watching. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel yet, then please hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified of any new videos that I may upload in the future. All right, so let's get on with the video. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna talk about um, is ex just explaining to you what digital planning stickers are. So digital stickers are basically just PNG files with a transparent background um, that you can use as images in your digital planner. So you can, you know, create any image and it'll be a sticker. So any photo that's in your library can just be a sticker, essentially. So that's basically what a sticker is, it's just images. So you just bring in images um, into your planner and that's how they are kind of like stickers. So the stickers that you buy from um, like shops and everything, will come in the PNG files and also a GoodNotes file um, for some shops. If you are just getting the PNG stickers, they'll come in a zip file, which you can unzip and it'll come in stickers like this. Um, and then it'll just be like a bunch of files, like, you know, PNG files, very small little pictures. But if you click on them, um, you'll see the full sticker um, and then you'll see that it's a, it has no background. Um, let me show you guys a different kind. This, okay, so you see here that it has no white background behind it. It's just the sticker itself. So there are a number of ways that you can bring in these um, individual files into your, into your planner. Um, one of the easiest ways I found is to simply just open up two screens, um, one with your files and one with your planner. And then all you need to do is just drag and drop. Super easy and then you can resize them and then use them in your planner. Um, so yeah, so it's just drag and drop. Um, another way that you can do it is um, if you don't have the split screen option, you can just hit the sticker you want, hit the share button, and hit copy, and then open up your planner, hold, and paste. So just, you know, simple copy and paste like that. And that's one another way to use your stickers. Um, another way is that you can save all of these images to your camera roll. Um, I personally do not like that option because my camera roll in, will include lots of pictures and it'll just um, fill up my camera roll. I don't wanna use my photo stream for stickers, so yeah. Um, another way that you can um, use stickers um, is with a GoodNotes file. So. Most shops um, will include a GoodNotes file for you. This is what the GoodNotes file will look like um, and they will already have each sticker pre-cropped and you know able for you to move around so that you can just drag and drop them into your planner. Um, so if you like using the GoodNotes app, um, this makes it really easy. So you can simply just you know, open up your planner and then choose a sticker and then hold it until that little box appears and then just drag and drop it into your planner. So you can do that and then you can always just resize it using the lasso tool. Move it around. And yeah, um, and finally, um, another way that you can use your stickers. Um, so this is how I have mine organized. Oops. Let's 
go to my stickers. So these are all of stickers from my shop um, and they're all in their own sheets. So you can have it organized like this in a folder for GoodNotes, but another way, if you want to have all your stickers all in one area, you can opt for a sticker book. So I have this sticker book bundle in my shop, but a, your sticker book will include all of these sections. Um, so let's just go home so I can show you guys what it looks like. So this is the cover. And if you swipe, here is the index. And then you can create your own sections, um, you know, for each of the 15 sections. And then click on it to get to those stickers. So I like using the sticker book because it just, you know, keeps everything all together. Um, so we have, um, I didn't feel that section. So we have Polaroids. Um, stickers. So let's create a cleaning um, sticker section. So I'm going to make it section six or section two. So we are just going to write cleaning stickers or maybe household. So it could be a little bit more broad. So I'm just going to put household stickers. And we're just going to go to section two. And we'll know that this is going to be our household section. Um, and if you need more pages, you can just simply hit this add button and then current template to add a couple more pages. And then what you're going to do is open up another good notes tab with your stickers. Oops. Right, let's just go to my cleaning stickers. And let's just open that in a new window. All right, and then, so to copy this sheet into your sticker book, you simply get the lasso tool and you want to just copy everything and then hit copy and then go into your sticker book and hit paste. And then just resize it to fit your sticker book. And now when you are planning, you can have all your stickers in your sticker book. So you can have your sticker book tab open and then your planner open. And then you can just open that in a new window. And now you'll have all your stickers all in one place here. All right, so those are all the different ways that you can use digital stickers in your planner. And now we are gonna be talking about how to get free stickers from the internet. So one of the ways that you can get free stickers, so let's just keep our sticker book open, um, is simply just by Googling images. So let's go, let's just say we want some doctor stickers or stethoscope, you know. So just search it and hit clip art or PNG or anything. Click on images so that you can just get the images. Um, and then you can just, most of, usually if you just drag and drop, it'll get that background still, even though it's a PNG file. See, so you would have to download it, but you can just bring it in to your planner just like that and then you can crop it or you can actually go to that website and then you can download it and it will save to your files and you can bring it in um, okay so that's one way this is I like using the internet just for like more pictures and such not for like the PNG stickers so I like using it for let's say if I was doing a vision board and I wanted, you know, some images of like working out. So I would, you know, get some of these images for like motivation. So I'll just click it and then bring it in. So, and then um, I like using it for movies, um, books, you know, you know, super easy way. I like using it also for like, if I'm decorating, 
my house and I want ideas, um, then I'll bring those kinds of images from the internet. So that's one way that you can get free stickers. Um, just, you know, images, Googling images and using them, you know, in your planner. The second way is by finding a free printable planner sticker site. Um, there's a ton of free, pr um, free planner stickers. Um, if you just search free printable stickers, you'll find sites. Um, some of the ones that I like are from Lovely Planner and Victoria Thatcher. So if you are getting a free printable that's a PDF, you would have to convert it into a JPEG um, first before you bring it into your digital planner. But if you go to Victoria Thatcher's website, so this is her website, and she has the PNG files already for you and you don't have to sign up for anything. So you just click it and download it. So um, she has a ton as well. Like there's so many decorative kits. So you really don't really need to go anywhere else for free digital planning stickers. Um, they're awesome. You can, you know, use them directly in, t in your digital planner. So let's say I want to download one of these. So let's just get this um, birthday file. So it takes you straight to Google Drive. Um, and there are a couple ways you can save this. You can just click on the image itself. There you go. Hold it and it'll say save to camera roll and you just hit OK. And it'll save to your camera roll. Another way is to hit these three dots in the corner right here. And then just hit send a copy. And then you just want to hit copy. And then you can go back to your planner. Let's just get a new page here. Let's just, there we go. Okay, so let's just hit paste. So this was from the Google Drive and you'll see that it has no background already. So she already did the hard work for us. Um, and you have these stickers that are ready to be cropped and used. So if you don't know how to crop, um, it's super easy. All you need to do is make sure that you are in the image tool in GoodNotes and then just hit the image and hit crop. And then you'll just use the rectangle tool if it's a square and easy to crop. And then you could just crop one image at a time. And then you'll have one sticker. So unfortunately, um, you have to keep doing that for all of the stickers in that set. Um, but once you know you have it all cropped and ready, then you can easily just keep reusing those stickers. So again, you just hit paste. Or if it's saved in your camera roll, you could just click on that image in your camera roll. So you just hit paste and then you hit crop and then you just go to the second sticker and crop out that rectangle. and you use those stickers. So this is where I have all of uh, the stickers, decorative kits from Victoria Thatcher's blog, and I have them all in here. So these are all of her stickers in my sticker book. And let me just show you guys how I do it in here so that you guys can have your, you know, your Victoria Thatcher, your free decorative stickers ready to use. So what I like to do is just bring in that image just like that. And then what I do is get another copy of it. So just hit paste again. So now we have two copies and then I hit crop and then I'll crop that first image. resize it and then put it right directly above the full sheet. So this is the, you know, the single sticker. And then on top, I just put it on top of the full sheet. 
and then I just have to keep repeating that so you know this will take some time and you know it is some work but they're free so you can't really complain <laughs> but I love her stickers um, and it saved me so much money and I don't mind doing the work for these awesome stickers so you just have to keep on doing that for each of the stickers okay so um, instead of watching me do that whole sheet I'm gonna show you guys how to do it if the stickers aren't a perfect square so even if it's not a perfect square um, you can still like so for example let's do these scallops so these scallops aren't a perfect square but if you have no background it doesn't really matter because you're not gonna see a white square anyways so you can still do it this way but if you would rather but if you do have a white background and you don't want a white square around the sticker then what you can do is when you hit crop instead of going to the rectangle you can do freehand and then you would just draw around whatever it is you want to crop so let's okay so let's say we want to crop out this banner so this banner is a little um, weird and it, if you want you can always just crop it first in a rectangle to make it bigger and then hit crop again and then do freehand so then now you can you know freehand crop around and then you'll have the sticker but like I said if you have no um, background already it doesn't really matter you don't really need to do the freehand because there's no background anyways all right so yeah um, that's how you can use the free stickers from Victoria Thatcher um, if you have stickers from um, different websites that aren't PNG then you would have to convert them into PD into a PNG or JPEG file first um, and then remove the background and then bring it into your st sticker um, into your digital planner or sticker book so yeah that's everything that you need to know about digital planning stickers um, sorry that video was really long but um, you know I wanted to show you guys exactly how to use the stickers um, and where to get free ones so yeah um, I love digital planning because the stickers even you can use them over and over again um, it saved me so much money um, and the best part is I don't have a pile of stickers just sitting in my desk anymore so it's super awesome um, and if you guys want to check out my sticker my digital planner sticker book or the bundle um, do check out the link in my description box. Um, I'll have it linked there. So yeah, uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.